Hello and welcome to this session. Today we are going to learn how to integrate with Jenkins so that we can run our test and our project from Jenkins continuous integration system. So this is going to be very easy and very interesting and we will go very basic step by step and learn how to set up Jenkins and Jenkins job, how to get the project from git inside the job and then how to run our API test from Jenkins. So if you are working on projects then you must be having a requirement to do continuous integration and also to integrate your testing with other processes or sections of your project and for that continuous integration is very important and Jenkins is one of the widely used tools in continuous integration. So let us see how this is done. I will first go to my browser and then just search for download Jenkins. So this will take you to Jenkins.io website and if you go here you will find a section if you go a little down you will find a section to download Jenkins the latest version and here are multiple platforms and we are going to take this generic java package .war file so click here it will download Jenkins.war and let me show you in my case I already have this Jenkins.war here in my downloads folder and now I am going to start Jenkins using this Jenkins.war file so the next step is you will go to your command line on windows and in case you are on mac you will go to your terminal or uh, your command line of Linux in case you are on Linux and then go to the location wherever your Jenkins.war file is so on Windows the shortcut is I can just go to this address bar and say CMD and hit enter it will open command line on the same folder so you can see it has opened the command line on the downloads folder and here I will say java-jar and the file name which is Jenkins.war and if I hit enter now it will open Jenkins server on the default port which is 8080 but I want to open it in a different port because 8080 is most of the times already occupied with other processes so I will say minus minus HTTP port equals the port number you can give any port number I am saying 9191 and hit enter and this will start your Jenkins server so the command is java hyphen jar jenkins dot war and then hyphen hyphen http port equals any port number and this uh, section minus minus http port is optional in case you do not want to start on the default port which is 8080 and then once this is done and your jenkins is started you can go to your browser and then go to localhost so type localhost and colon and the port number where you have started Jenkins and you can also use the IP of the system instead of localhost just in case you have started Jenkins on a remote system and you can access it using an IP you can type IP as well and then hit enter so this will show you your Jenkins dashboard now in my case it is showing me the main uh, screen with all the jobs just in case you are doing it for the first time you will see something like uh, you will see a screen for password so let me just show you if I go to Jenkins setup and I go to images so here the first screen you will see in case it is a new installation or a new setup you will see a screen for unlock Jenkins where you have to give your admin password and this admin password you will find within the locks on your console or you can also get it from the folder where Jenkins is and you will find a secrets folder now I have a separate series on Jenkins uh, you can watch that in case you are completely new and you want to go more detailed into Jenkins and then after this step uh, you may also find another screen like this to add the recommended plugins and you can add the plugins whatever is recommended and then finally you will get to the dashboard like this so here uh, you might not be having all these jobs which I have created on my Jenkins but you will get the dashboard like this and here you will find an option for new item so let me click here new item and give any project name so I will say Catalon API testing and click a freestyle project and say OK so this will open our job configuration and you can see we have different sections general source code management 
build triggers, build environments, build and post build actions. So let us start with general. Here you can give some description and which is optional. And then if I go to source code management, here you can see we have options for none, git and subversion. Now in case you are not seeing this git option, then you can always go to your plugin. So you can go to your main Jenkins folder, uh, main Jenkins dashboard and go to manage Jenkins. And if you go a little down, you will find an option for manage plugins. You can go here and go to your available section and search for git here. In my case, I have in my install section. So I will show you here if I search for git, you can see I have the git plugin already added. So that is why I am getting this option for git in the source code management and here you can add the repository URL in case you are having your project on GitHub. And like we have seen in the last session, we have added our project on GitHub and this is our repository. So just in case you have missed the last session, you can watch that. So I'm just taking this repository URL from here and in my Jenkins, I will provide this here. And then let me just apply and save and let me run this just to check if it is taking the project from github or not so i will click on build now and this will start a build and you can see the build here i can go to the console output and you can see it has started the steps to get the project from github and it has got the project and it has added the project here so you can see uh, it has added the project yes so this is working fine you can see this is successful and if I go back to the project so let me just show you these what it is doing it is cloning the from git repository and it is cloning from this repository and then here it is adding the project so this is the location if I just go here I will copy this and go on my system physically to this location so let me just show you and yes so it has taken the project and added the entire project on this new location which is the workspace for this particular job now just in case you want to change this workspace and want to provide a custom workspace what you can do is you can go to your project and go to configure go to the general section and click on this advanced button and here you will find a option to use a custom workspace. So here you can give your custom workspace. So what I want is I just want uh, I will go to my desktop here and go to tools and go to Jenkins or I will go to Jenkins workspaces and here I will just create a new folder and say this is Catalon API and I'm going to copy this location and provide it here and I can also name it anything so I can just say this is Catalon underscore API and apply and save and I will build my project again and you will see what will happen so here under Catalon API you will see you can see it has cloned it here all the project has cloned here and the same thing you can see from the logs if I go inside the logs of this particular run so you can see now it has cloned the project here okay so this is how you can provide a custom workspace and now I will again go to configure so we have done the general section and source code management and then if you come down we have built triggers so you can decide how do you want to trigger this particular job so you can either uh, poll SCM and provide a schedule so you can use some uh, cron expressions and provide some schedule like this for example if you want to periodically build your project or run this test job at a specific interval you can create a cron expression and here are some examples given for example every 15 minutes if you want you can use a cron expression like this and so on so accordingly you can do that uh, you can also select build periodically so again this will 
here again you can give a cron expression and it will trigger the job at that particular interval poll same was uh, to poll the repository for a for a schedule or an interval that you provide here so it will keep on checking the repository in case there is any change it will trigger the project and then uh, you can also here is the build environment and then finally we have a build step or a build section where we will provide our commands now here is where you will provide the commands to run your test or project so in case you are on windows you will click on execute windows batch command in case you are on mac or linux you will say execute shell so i will just go and say execute windows batch command and let me say echo starting and then what you have to do is first we have to go to the location of our catalon uh, studio wherever we have our catalon studio located on our system so you must have seen the session on how to run from command line you can take help from there and we actually have to run the commands that we will run from command line so the first step is we will first go to the location of our catalon studio so here in my case I have my catalon studio located inside this folder so I will go here first so of course you should be having catalon studio on the system where you want to run your test so here i will go and say because this is on d drive first i will say d colon and enter and then i will change the directory to the location and then i will run the command to run my project or run my test and for that you can always use your earlier commands that you generated or you can always click here build cmd and select so let us say what I'm going to do is this is the test suite that we want to run I will say ok and here I will just say generate command and this is what we want to run ok so I will copy this copy to clipboard or just copy and go and paste it here now here you will need to make one change which is the project path now this is the project path that we want uh, where our project is cloned and which is the location we selected earlier so this is the location right so I will copy this and provide it here in place of project path I will give this path and then we have to also provide this name api demo project 1 which is correct here api demo project 1 dot prj so this is fine and let me just verify yes this is the correct command and that's it and at the end i will say echo completed and that's it i will say apply and save and let us try to run this I will say build now and this should start the third run and I will click here to go to the logs so the very first step it is it is take the project from github which it has done and now it will run the project or run our test so this is now executing and let us just wait for this to get completed and yes this is completed and this is showing fail failure now it will also show failure in case there is any uh, test in your project that is failed so to check that you can always go and check the report so I will go to the location of my project and go to the reports and go to test suite 1 and you can see the report so this is looks like the latest report I will go here and check the report so you can see it ran the test and of course there was one failure so there was a failed step so that is why the build is marked as failure however it was able to run from our Jenkins job so I will again go back to my Jenkins job and yes this is running fine back to the project and you can see this is the project that we have set up for our Jenkins now with Jenkins you can do a lot of things so if you go to your project and go to configure you can see if you go here 
build triggers you can find this option built after other projects are built so here you can give the name of any other job that you want to build before this job or you want this particular job to trigger after that particular job is built for example a job that runs a dev build or a dev commit uh, after that job you would want that whenever there is a commit in the dev environment and the dev job is completed successfully you want to run your api test in catalon studio so you can provide it here also you can make a complete chain and complete delivery pipeline and you can watch my jenkins tutorials on that so this will create a complete continuous integration delivery pipeline with jenkins so this is how you can integrate your catalon studio testing in continuous integration using jenkins i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching